So I'm going to show you how to enter material data into Kissoft. If you have your own material and you're interested in um, entering it into the Kissoft material database for gears, this is how we do it. So first, you want to open the Kissoft program as the administrator. Yes. And you can get to the database manager, the database tool, either through extras, database tool, or you can hit this handy dandy icon up here, database tool. It's going to ask you if you want to open it with right authorization. In this case, yes, because you're going to enter a new material. In order to enter a new material for the gears, or for any kind of shaft or other material, you need to add it to the first, um, first you need to add it to the basic data, material database. Material basic data, it's a Kissoft database, it has all the different materials in it. We're going to hit edit. <clears throat> Say you want to enter a new um, powdered metal gear or centered gear material into this database. What Kissoft recommends is you highlight a material that's close to the material you want to enter. Say it's the centered D39 warm compact. Um, I don't know much about that material, um, although I know that I, I have something that's similar. So then what I do is I hit add a row. And what we're doing is we're adding a new material into the basic material database. And here it comes up with that label, and you can change the label for all of these. And we're going to call this new powder. Uh, metal uh, D4230. Example. <clears throat> now, once you have your, your label, you can change all these labels if you like. Um, you can enter the modulus. Poisson's ratio, density, specific heat, and so forth. You can also go into your diameter ranges for this material, and you can enter several different tensile yields, tensile strengths, yield points, and, and uh, raw diameters for these different ranges. And there's a whole bunch. Additionally, you can talk about surface hardness and core hardness. Um, you can talk if it's a, a not allied through hardened. Uh, you can say if it's induction hardened and so forth. This in, in this case, it's a dry powder metal. We hit OK. And we hit Save. And if we scroll down, here's our new powder metal D4230 example. We can close this window. <coughs> And now we want to add that new material we just put in the basic data into our material of gears. Right here. We hit edit. And then we just go ahead and add a new row. And our create new entry dialog box comes up. Our base material now is the material we just entered. And if you scroll down, here it is. New powder metal D4230 example. And that's the one that we just added to the basic uh, material basic data table. We click on that one. You can see what the base material properties are. <clears throat> if you have a SN curve, you can specify that. If you have a hardness curve, you can specify that. You can cover. I can cover that in a different um, session, or if you have a specific needs, you can call. You can put your endurance root limit. You can change these uh, at any time, of course. If you don't like MPA, you can put this. We'll say 40,000. Um, you can also look at your peak valley to roughness and your rough roughness on the flank. If that's something you need to take into account, it might help for um, 
durability. And then you hit OK. If you filter through here, there's your material right there. Now it's in this database. We need to save this and close. And close. Now you have a new gear material in your database and it's uh, connected to the gear material database. So I'm just going to open an example, a cylindrical gears example. And you can do that down in this corner. I'll just grab this first one, gear pair. Double click, it opens up this gear pair. I can run this simulation and I can see that my root safety is are these numbers. 2.6, 1.3. Um, but say now my gear one, I say, well, I think I want to try this new material I just entered. So I scroll down. Here it is. It's in my database. And then I run it again. Now, because I didn't add everything I could have added on there, we see my flank safety is lower. My root safety is a little bit lower. <clears throat> Entering a material in Kissoft is very easy once you understand the steps and the, and the thought process behind it. <laughs> if you have any questions, you can call me, Ty Warner, at Kissoft USA, 715-477-0828.